in 2013, I think our direction uh, was similar to the direction that I would suggest we're pursuing today, which is have a diverse mix of um, ways that you generate electricity. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Even when I started at the company 18 and a half years ago, um, when we generated a lot of electricity from coal, mm -hmm. that was about 50%. Uh, today it's closer to 10, but uh, or even a little less. But our view has been, is today, and I expect will continue to be, that the smart way to serve our customers as reliably and as affordably as we can is to generate electricity from a variety of sources. Sometimes the supply chain will be a challenge in one source or another. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the cost of fuel will be a challenge in one or another. There is no one magic bullet, mm -hmm. but there is a long history of demonstrating the value of diversity in the sources of uh, energy. So our thinking in 2013 was this is another potential way for us to generate electricity reliably and affordably. And obviously it's a way to do that that would be cleaner than potentially some other sources. So as we uh, worked our way through the subsequent eight years mm -hmm. and we learned more about the reliability and affordability of being able to do this and the pilot project was mm -hmm. part of that. It became clear to us that offshore wind was an important way for us to carry out that mission of reliable, affordable, increasingly clean energy for our customers. So it wasn't that we had some, I would like to say, mm -hmm that we just knew in 2013 that everything was going to go the way it has gone. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Mm -hmm. But what we did know in 2013 was the value of not putting all your eggs in one basket and trying to make sure that you have the most options available for your customers.